So along the way, I would say that um, someone who has cancer, it's kind of a, an interesting journey in the sense of you have to find out why you have it and, and the resources and then what do you do with it. And so along my way, I had to figure out with neuropathy, why am I feeling this way and who can I reach out to? So it was a matter of me asking a lot of questions and finding out what I do about the pain that I had, the heaviness that I had, the tingling that I had. So while I was receiving my, my chemo treatment, they had told me that um, some of the residual side effects that I could have is neuropathy. And I had to sort of figure out what, what is neuropathy and how could it affect me. During chemo, you put your hands and your feet in cold ice um, and you keep it there for the entire treatment. And you, I did that for 16 weeks. When I was done with that, um, I didn't really notice anything right away until I started my radiation. And my radiation, um, it seemed like as I worked out um, and wore my high heels to work, that my feet felt heavy and tingly and just painful. It was hard for me to get out of bed um, at night. Um, I felt like I was 80 years old. So I started asking uh, every person that, that my oncologist, the person who was providing the lymphedema, um, what, what kind of uh, resource is out there for me to fix this? Because I feel like the system isn't connected enough. I feel like it, it's not a well laid out plan you have to really have a questioning attitude and, and really go out there and find the answers and research. Is this neuropathy? Why, why are my toenails turning black? Why are my feet feeling this way? And then, and then find the right person who can help you treat that. They, they told me that I was going to have po the possibility of neuropathy and I didn't know what that meant. I mean, to me, it was like, what is this? And until I started seeing my toenails turn black, and then I started feeling that that pain in my, my feet, and I felt like I was wearing snow boots, like just, or moon boots, just really heavy walking um, and trouble getting out of bed. I knew at that point there was it was a it was a turning point for me. I recognized I have neuropathy, and if, since I had neuropathy, what am I going to do about it? So I started asking people, wh "What does this mean, and how do I treat it? How do I get rid of this this heaviness, this pain?" So while I was being treated um, for another symptom, I found out through Texas Oncology, through this one person in particular, she said, oh my goodness, you need to go to Cancer Rehab of Austin because there is a person there by the name of Agnes who does um, oncology acupuncture. So as a ca cancer patient, I was going to chemotherapy and they told me there that I might have some side effects of neuropathy. The neuropathy, I don't know what it is. I don't know what, what that means. So I would put my hands in ice um, for my entire chemo treatment. I did that for about 16 weeks. And while I was going through that, um, you know, they kept talking about neuropathy and the importance of the ice. So when I started radiation, that's when I really noticed a change in my, um, my body. I noticed that my toenails were turning black. I noticed that my legs felt like I was wearing heavy moon boots, tingling, sort of some numbness. Um, I was struggling to wear my high heels to work. I was struggling with my, my running, and I, I couldn't figure out okay, it's hit me, what do I do? So I started asking questions about how I fix this. I started researching it, and um, through my questions, I found um, a person who was treating me for another symptom um, at Texas Oncology. She had recommended, oh, you need to definitely seek um, the 
uh, services of the Cancer Rehab of Austin because they provide a whole host of services for cancer patients and especially in your case with your neuropathy. So I called um, Agnes and I said, this is what is going on and I really need you to help me. She said, come on in. So I came in to see Agnes and um, I think the greatest thing that, that could have happened is the, the relationship, that partnership started because she said, here is what's going on with you and here's how I can help you. Tell me what you know about acupuncture. And I said, I don't know a thing about it. I know friends who've gone through it. Um, it's maybe a little scary because when you hear needles, people tend to like get a little nervous. Um, but she walked me through it. She said, here's what I'm going to do first. Tell me how you're feeling. And I really felt comfortable after the first time. Now, every time you know you go back, you get more excited because you know that what she's doing is going to help. But it really, it really took a partnership for us because she would say, here's what I'm doing during your treatment. Here's now what I need you to do when you go home. And that was really important to the success of the neuropathy and, and seeing the, the side effects go away. So it was her telling me uh, what she was doing. It was the homework. But in addition to that, she gave me recommendations on um, essential oils, on on suggestions on how to eat better and what I should be eating. She also on supplements too, like how this could help me. And it, what I mean by that is put my feet in um, a soaking tub with tea tree oil. That was like heaven. So it was suggestions like that, that really, I think through our relationship, um, really helped me through my recovery. And I'm doing such a great job because of that. So it was recommended to me that I try acupuncture um, from a person that was treating me at Texas Oncology. And one of the things that I really didn't know much about was what acupuncture was. I had friends who had gone to it. I, a little scary for me to think about needles, but when I um, heard about it, I decided to look into, well, what is acupuncture and how does it treat cancer patients? And what is this going to, how is this going to benefit me? And, and what is the, how long would it take for me to see the effects, the results? Because as an athlete, uh, you know, I'm, I'm ready to get out there and run and I don't want to feel the, the heaviness and the tingling and the pain on my feet. So when I heard about acupuncture, I decided to read up on it. I decided to start asking questions. And through that, I found Agnes. And I met Agnes and we had a long conversation about what was going on with me and why I was feeling what I was feeling. And which I guess is typical for neuropathy. Um, so, Agnes walked me through what she was going to do from an acupuncture perspective, but more importantly, she said, you've got to go home and do these things. Try these things for me. Provide the feedback and let me know if they're working. So that was from um, buying a mat that I would walk my feet on to stimulate the nerves in my feet. It was from, she gave me these little pressure points that like band-aids that I put on my toes, walked on my tippy toes around the house. It was taking a loofah and rubbing the bottom of, of my feet and really stimulating those nerves. And then I would come back to see Agnes and I would say, here's how I'm feeling. And we would start the process um, over again. And each time I came back to her, it just seemed like it was better. I was like, I'm seeing the results. Wow, this is, this is crazy and cool. And um, it's been about four months and I'm still seeing her, but I don't have to see her every week. Um, I can come every few weeks and my feet feel amazing and I couldn't have done it without our relationship and Agnes is um, really has made a difference in my chemotherapy um, journey. So.